Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So firstly, I just want to apologise for the couple of people who have asked me whether I was going to Pesma's Eurovizia in Belgrade this year because I went last year and had, had an amazing time. Um, apologies, I haven't directly responded to you. The answer to that is no. <laughs> um, if you kind of follow my channel outside of Pesma's Eurovizia, then you will know that I'm currently in India making friends with cows. So as a result of that, I'm having to kind of catch up with events that are happening in Belgrade ad hoc. And obviously dependent on copyright and what's available on YouTube. But I've seen a recap video that the official channel has put onto YouTube. So I'm quite curious just to see how the visuals on stage look for semi-final one. I still don't know who has qualified for semi-final one yet. So I had my personal favorites and the link to that video is above. So I've already checked out the studio version of these songs. So let's just check out the recap and then I'll have a look at who's qualified and see to what extent it resembles. <laughs> any of my favourites. Okay, so I've seen that this is a rehearsal recap, but nonetheless, still useful. Oh yeah. I remember this song, this kind of operatic number. Vocals were good, but the song just was a bit meh. It looks dramatic though. I don't remember this song. <laughs> this song didn't really have an impact on me. I don't remember this one. I liked this one. This one was like a breath of fresh air. This is one of my faves. I think I had this in my fourth place. Yeah, I didn't have this song in my faves. I preferred her song last year. But I'm liking the visuals though. Seems better live. This was my second favorite, Prince. Um, the choreographer reached out to me on Instagram thanking me for my reaction. And he did say, I'll wait for the live performance. It's going to be great. I'm loving the choreography. Vocally on point. Love. <laughs> Oh, hold on a minute, what's with this? Are you allowed to do that? Isn't that the route from Lithuania? Copyright match. Unless it's a hark back homage to the route, then I'm for it. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't rank this as highly as I think people would have had liked me to. Personal preferences, personal taste, I just didn't really gel with the song. But I was expecting something out there in regards to how this was being performed. And he's evidently gone for something a bit quirky. Interestingly, I kind of thought Jan from Poland would give something like this, but now I know that he's part of a independent record label that supports independent artists. This probably wasn't the sort of money available for him compared to Mr. Black here, but looks interesting. Looks very interesting. Angelina. That staging looks bloody amazing. Last year with Origami, this was one of my favourites last year, and then when I watched it in the semi-final, 
origami. I was like, oh, what is this? <laughs> this wasn't what I wanted. This looks everything. I prefer origami as a studio version, but this staging already looks so much better. How much has she and the staging evolved one year later? Vocals seem on point. Yeah, no. <laughs> Some of these songs I don't remember. Oh, I like this one. This is one of my faves. Though he looks a little lost, bless him. I remember his studio version. His voice was amazing. Hold on a minute, go back. Um, bless him, he looks a little lost. He looks a bit frightened. <laughs> This is my favourites. Didn't think that they were going to be wearing showgirl dresses. Interesting choice of outfits. Presidente. What is with the thing on his face? There we go. I was a little bit worried earlier because the block lighting was a bit kind of lacked creativity compared to obviously other rivals like Mr. Black, but we've got better visuals in the background now and we've got more chore more choreographers, more dancers joining on the stage. Looks very promising. Don't remember this one. <laughs> Seems nice. Ah, um, my Balkan ballad. With backing dancers. I must say, Boris, last year you were... Was it, were you my favourite song last year? I think you, you were either my first or, th or in my top three anyway. And I just remember seeing you on stage last year in your semi-final and you didn't qualify with what I think was a better song than this one. And I did think to myself, bless you, in the sense of there's really not much going on. <laughs> he was just standing there with a microphone singing. This is a huge upgrade, huge upgrade. I am quite sceptical when you add in choreography to a ballad, like even if you remember Feminem with Laco, Laco, <laughs> yes, fair. I could forgive that slightly. They kind of went into a dance routine at the end with a power ballad. I wasn't expecting backing dancers, but I'm quite impressed with the upgrade from last year. And the dude can sing. This is my favourite song. <laughs> I remember, I put this as number one. And people were like, oh, because I had a glass of wine. They're like, oh, you're so drunk. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm actually genuinely enjoying this song. I don't care. I think the chorus is an earworm. I didn't realise that they were in it last year. Um, their song completely went by me last year. Um, okay, this looks so much better than last year. I did see in our Eurovision T, our um, Instagram chat, people were basically saying there was a lack of audience, right? So I wonder if they're using the same studio as last year, but the stage looks bigger. Because I saw the, the studio stage last year, there was no audience because there was no room. You had the stage and then you had this bit right like from here to the wall of my kitchen. It really wasn't much room at all. So you couldn't have had an audience in there. People were complaining about the lack of audience. They must have done that again. But I'm with the amount of talent and with the, the, the level of the songs, and moreover, the amount of bops. It's a shame that they couldn't kind of rent out a stu a, um, an arena 
because I know people back in Serbia and Belgrade that would kill for tickets to watch this live. So it's not like there isn't a demand for it. So it's a shame that the broadcaster couldn't uh, rent out an arena because you definitely would have filled it. Right, okay. So let's see who qualified. Okay, so I can already see that Luke Black is qualified, obvious. Um, Philip Balos, I did notice that his song had quite a lot of views on YouTube, so I'm not necessarily surprised he's qualified, but who else has qualified? Stephen Shy, bless him. The song was in my top. Where was it? I have to keep going back to my video. It was my seventh favorite. Seventh favorite? Prince, so, so, so glad that that is qualified. Um, that was my second favorite. <laughs> So people just like, were basically saying like, what the hell? Like, how can you have Cheggy as your first? I don't care. I absolutely love that song. So that is qualified over. I'm already noticing there are some big names here that didn't qualify. Um, Boris, I had Boris. That was my only kind of bulk and ballad in this uh, mix. He was my sixth favorite. Well, yeah, we've already established Luke Black's through. We've already established Philip's through. I thought I had Philip in my top. I, I didn't. But that did sound much better live, and it did look better visually. Okay, fair enough. Um, Nada, Breath of Fresh Air over a Summer Meadow, hits you in the face, love it. Empathy Soul Project, that was the rock band, wasn't it? Okay, so who didn't qualify then? So Tiana, it would have been a tough gig for her to qualify. Angelina didn't qualify. I don't think that that song was as good as last year, but she was touring this year and she was touring with Sara Yo as well. And as a result of that, I thought she was building some momentum in regards to fans. So maybe the jury pulled that one down. Is there anyone else that's a big surprise that didn't get through? Angelina, is that it? Who was my third? Savo Perovic. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. President Day didn't qualify. I've just realized that. <laughs> Okay, I mean, the facial mask was an interesting choice. But again, because there are so many young guys sending kind of, I would class as queer numbers, uh, obviously, Philip Balos has probably stolen Savo's position. And then you've got Luke Black. I just realised that, bloody hell. So President says through, Nada's through, Hersen Sluss. Oh, that was the... The violin, I think that that wasn't helped by what they were wearing. Boris is through, Stephen's through, Luke's through, Angelina's not. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six of my top eight through, so I'm fairly happy. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I'm available for the final because obviously I'm not able to watch these semi-finals live because it's just not conducive to the time that I'm in in India. But, um, okay, interesting. So those are my thoughts. So please let me know what you think. Please do um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.